Peter and I grow back together. <laughs> there are still moments when he clutches the back of a chair. He hangs on until the flashbacks are over. I wake. Screaming from nightmares of Mike and Ross children. But his arms are there to comfort me. And eventually his lips. On the night I feel that thing again. That hunger that overtook me on the beach. I know this would have happened anyway. That what I need to survive is not Gale's fire, kindled with rage and hatred. I have plenty of fire myself. What I need is the dandelion in the spring. The bright yellow that means rebirth instead of destruction. The promise that life can go on, no matter how bad our losses. That it can be good again. And only Peter can give me that. So after, when he whispers, You love me? Real? Or not real? I tell him, Real. She plays in the meadow, the dancing girl with the dark hair and blue eyes. It took five, ten, fifteen years for me to agree, but Peta wanted them so badly. When I first felt her stirring inside of me, I was consumed with a terror that felt as old as life itself. Only the joy of holding her in my arms could tame it. The questions are just beginning. The arenas have been completely destroyed, the memorials built, there are no more Hunger Games. But they teach about them at school, and the girl knows we played a role in them. How can I tell her about that world without frightening her to death? My children, who don't know that they play on a graveyard. Peta says it will be okay. We have each other, and the book. We can make them understand in a way that will make them braver. But one day, I'll have to explain about my nightmares. Why they came. Why they won't ever really go away. I'll tell them how I survive it. I'll tell them that on bad mornings, it feels impossible to take pleasure in anything because I'm afraid that it could be taken away. That's when I make a list of things in my head, of every act of goodness I've seen someone do. It's like a game. Repetitive. Even a little tedious after more than 20 years. But there are much worse games to play. Still human. Shoot me. You shoot me and go home and live with it. It's okay. I'm gonna go.